SOLIDWORKS 2013 introduces powerful new capabilities that bridge the gap between solid and surface modeling. Here, a fairly generic wireless router design needs some new cosmetic features to be added to it to make it more appealing. We've created the housing using, using solid features, but we've also created a new top profile using surfaces. If we take a look at a cross section, we can see that the desired effect we're trying to achieve requires re both removing and adding material to the design. New in SOLIDWORKS 2013 is the introduction of the Intersect tool. It allows us to choose both surface and solid models, and SOLIDWORKS will find possible combinations of regions that can be either removed or kept. This eliminates several individual tedious steps that before required things such as cut with surface, combines, extruding up to surface, amongst others. Once SOLIDWORKS is finished going through and finding the possible regions that we can either keep or remove, all we need to do is select those regions we want to exclude from the final results. Here, we've chosen the outside sloping surface as well as some regions in the interior of the Wi-Fi symbol. We can also choose to consume any of the surfaces used during this process. This eliminates additional steps later on for deleting those bodies. SOLIDWORKS will then go to work creating the finished model based on a combination of the surface and the solid bodies that we've chosen. Once this is finished, we can recut the same cross section and see, in fact, Intersect was able to give us exactly what we were looking for. The Intersect tool is a powerful new capability that eliminates unnecessary steps and gets your job finished sooner.